Hey dads, lads, and lasts, it's Rookbeer here today. In this short little video, I'm going to show you how to use Tool Grip Editor by Clone Trooper 1019. So first, to get the plugin, you'll have to go to your home tab here, then hit Toolbox. And after your Toolbox, well, I just skipped a step. You're in your model, so you go to your plugins. And you'll see here, it's on the front page, it's a very popular plugin, Tool a Grip Editor by Clone Trooper 1019, sorry. And you just cop it. It's five row boxes as a, as a little bit of a warning, guys. But it's definitely worth it. It's a very cheap and it's very useful. So after you have it, you go up here to your plugins. Well, actually, first off, to insert a tool we want to do. So let's just go in our toolbox here, find something. Hey, the Roblox default sword. We'll use that. So we have the Roblox default sword here. Uh, let's just delete every, all the scripts and everything just so I'll show you guys that. There's nothing else here. It's just the sword. So it's very important for this to work. You need it to be inside of a tool, which is indicated by that logo right there. To add a tool, you want to hit this plus button here and then search tool. And you can add one here yourself, but we already have one. So with this sword, now that we have it selected, you go to your plugins tab and you want to click tool grip editor. And once this is open, you'll see that we have a little guy up here in the top left or top low, lower left, wherever you have your, uh, your plugins tab. And we can go around this guy, we can see all the different angles that, you know, the sword be held. And if you want to edit it, you hit edit tool grip. Once you have this little imaginary hand's going to show up. And you have two, two options, to rotate it or to move it. So moving it would do as you expect, it moves the placement in the hand. So if you see that, it's moving to the, the left and the right. If you can go up and down, of course, hold it different places. Or you can move it, you know, forward or backwards. The different planes that you can move it on. The other option here is to rotate it. So we can rotate the sword to the side here. Rotate in circles like that. You can go forwards and backwards, stab himself in the head. And then there's also the angle which you hold it. That actually looks pretty cool. I wouldn't actually do that, but that looks pretty sick. So now to show you that this works, now that you did that, you're absolutely done. It'll save that like whenever you click off of it. It's that simple, clicking on and off the tool in the workspace. Now, if you want to test it, you want to drag your classic sword here, whatever uh, whatever tool you're using, and you want to drag that into your starter pack. Now that it's there, we can now hit uh, grab test, and we'll see that I have a sword in my inventory right here. And if I hold that out, would you look at that? It is now holding it the way that this would be cool for animation. You can see here that like, oh, I'm gonna stab you in the throat, dude. No, but yeah, you see it, it works uh, as you'd expect it to. And if it's not how you like it, you just go back in the game. You know, you go back in. You can edit it from the starter pack. Just brings out the imaginary hand back into the workspace. And you can edit it just like that. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you found this successful, if this helped you guys out, please leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe to all that lovely stuff. If you didn't like it or you need help in the comments, well, <laughs> question me in the comments. I'll, I'd love to help you guys out. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.